How's it going everybody? You know who it is. My name is Sun Wu and in today's video we are gonna have a quick look at the punch effect in the OP1. While there seems to be some confusion online whether the punch effect is a compressor or whether the punch effect is some kind of low pass filter, I think it's easiest to think of it as just a low pass filter that has a variable slope curve, resonance and a mix knob. There may be some compression going on in the background just to tame the levels or something, but I'm not completely sure of that and certainly this is not a full-fledged compressor by any means. This is a low pass filter. And with that being said, let's have a look at all the parameters. And as usual, let's start with the simpler parameters. The power parameter right here is basically a mix parameter. This means when it's set to zero, we only hear our original audio. And when we turn it all the way up, we only hear the signal that's gone through the filter and then everything in between. And the next parameter, the frequency knob, as it says, it changes our cutoff frequency for the filter. And now we get to the interesting parameters, starting with the rounds parameter right here. The rounds parameter, simply put, defines the slope of your filter. So either it's a steep slope of the filter or a very long slope. When it's down at zero or at one, then the slope is very gradual and it almost seems like there's no filter applied, as you can see in the spectrum analyzer here. And as I increase the rounds, the slope gets steeper and steeper. And lastly, we get to the punch parameter. And I think this is the one that has most people confused because some people think it's a compression parameter. Other people think it's resonance. And I think while there might be some compression going on in the background in order to keep the levels in check when you crank up the resonance, this definitely is a resonance parameter. And we're gonna check that out now. So let's test out if this really is a resonance knob by first doing a little filter sweeping and wiggling with the resonance turned all the way down like this. As you can hear, the filter doesn't sound very resonant, but once we turn this up... And you can clearly hear that as we turned the punch up, there was a lot of resonance added to the cutoff frequency and therefore I think it's easiest to think of the punch as a resonance parameter and therefore this is simply a low pass filter with adjustable frequency, adjustable slope, and adjustable resonance as well as a mix knob. One more thing I want to get into is how rounds aka the filter slope and punch aka the resonance affect each other. If we have the punch parameter turned all the way up and turn up the rounds as well to a very high value this will make it possible to drive the filter into self oscillation that means it will keep playing a note even if our original audio has already stopped playing just like this. And I can now change the frequency of this note with the blue knob. And it will stop self-oscillating if I go too high. As you can hear, there's no note now. Probably the same if we go too low. Oh no, here it will keep self-oscillating. The level of rounds necessary in order to get the filter into self oscillation also depends on what you have set your frequency to. If the frequency is set quite low, rounds starting from 12 will already get you into self oscillation just like this. But say you are at a higher frequency, it doesn't self oscillate at 12. But if you turn it up to say 14 or 16, I believe it should start. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so the higher the frequency, the more rounds you will need to get the filter into self-oscillation. And that's already it for this little tutorial on the punch effect. Again, this is just a simple low pass filter, but there's quite a lot you can adjust in this low pass filter, so it's certainly very useful. I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more, feel free to contact me for private online lessons, link down in the description, or watch more videos in this series in the playlist. Other than that, Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss the next video. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful time. Peace.